Well, as we mentioned at the top of the show, parts of the area under a winter weather advisory. Yeah, chill outside tonight. Here's a live look outside. Things are about to get nasty out there. Oh, Mary Kay is here now with the forecast that includes slush, snow, a mm. whole lot of a little of something. everything. <laughs> right, we have the cold air in place. Now we're waiting on this moisture to increase. The midnight hour is going to be our changeover. Even though right now radar looks impressive, this is not reaching the ground just yet. It's evaporating before it does so, but hour by hour, we're going to moisten up enough to see those southwest suburbs really start to pick up the snow shower activity. That's why the Weather Service went ahead with a winter weather advisory through the night until 10 a.m. for Grundy, Kendall, LaSalle, and Livingston counties because it seems this area will be the focus for the best accumulation as we go through the night. What's interesting to note, we have the cold air in place. The concern is the winds. They are coming down. They are calm now in Waukegan and in Valparaiso. We were expecting more of a breeze off the lake to really pull in that milder air along the lakefront. Water temperatures are still in the mid 50s. That would hold off any snow from making it to the lakefront. That's why the official forecast has that two to four inch total far to the south and west. But if those winds don't pick up, we're going to see this swath of snow start extending through DuPage and possibly Cook County as well. You can see the motion. I put this into motion so you can see how the moisture is moving from the southwest to the northeast into the Chicago area. Again, not quite reaching the ground just yet, but after the midnight hour, we'll start to see that take place. So wet snow tonight, especially southwest of the city. And in fact, when we look at that future cast plot, we see that in the morning we are going to have some grassy areas covered for sure, and maybe even the roadways covered through the 7 a.m. hour. And then after mid morning, we're going to see the milder air move in and it changes to all rain. The second snow event on Thursday really is for all areas around Chicago, perhaps to see some accumulation and at the end of it all when the moisture moves out we're in for a hard freeze Thursday night into Friday morning. Right now temperatures are at 40 at Midway. It is 35 degrees in Aurora. That's one place that's going to see that snow and some of that could linger into the front part of the morning rush for sure. So low pressure down near Arkansas is sending the moisture in our direction. Futurecast is showing that first burst moving through but it's the second part on Thursday. So as we go Wednesday night into to Thursday, the cold side of the system really moves in, and that is going to pull in some snow shower activity for us for our Halloween. So on Futurecast, we are seeing that amounts from this first round tonight would be best from Ottawa to Morris. But then as we go through Halloween, it looks like during the day and in the early evening hours, we could see several inches of snow as this lines up five times on Halloween since 1881. We've had snow most recently was October 31st of 2014 when we officially had a tenth of an inch and I'm thinking we will have snow on this Halloween for you as well. And this is the weekend when we fall back. So when you go to bed Saturday night, you drop the clocks back one hour. Oh, interfering with our holiday party plans. Indeed. All right. Thank you, Mary Kay.